Hey guys, this is Damien with Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. I'll make this video quick and to the point. In this video, I'll be connecting back-to-back -back benchmarks to really stress off this iPhone 13 Pro Max and see if there are any performance improvements with the new iOS 15.4 update. I'll be checking for both CPU and GPU for potential performance improvements. Quick reminder, these benchmarks will naturally be lower than normal as back-to-back -back testing will stress and throttle the device. That way we can check sustained performance, which is more important than peak performance. With that being said, as you can see on the left, here I have the iOS 15.3.1 update, and on the right, I have the latest update iOS 15.4. Now for this first test, we'll be starting with Geekbench 5 and testing the CPU performance. After almost two minutes of testing, here we can see not much of a difference in CPU performance. The results are not drastic enough in percentage to merit a decrease or an increase in performance. Therefore, for now, I'd say performance is relatively the same in comparison between both of these updates. Now moving on to 3 d Mark Wildlife, I'll be selectively using the Wildlife Extreme Stress Test to see how the GPU performs under 20 minutes of 4K graphical pressure. Now after 20 minutes of testing, here we can see quite some interesting results. At first glance, it seems to be only a small difference in peak performance when looking at the best loop scores. However, stability and lowest loop scores, here we can see a decrease with the latest iOS 15.4 update. But if we look closer at these results, it's actually the opposite. For iOS 15.3.1, after 13 minutes, we can see performance stabilize and roughly remain consistent at 2,200 score range, but for iOS 15.4, here we can see performance stabilize around 2,300 range, starting at 2 minutes, then dip at 19 minutes, only to peak back up at 2,300 score range. Therefore, performance is actually better for sustained performance as well as peak and this GPU stress test for iOS 15.4. Now for this last GPU test, I decided to use GFX Bench Metal and perform over 11 different GPU tests that are back to back. Again, results cannot be compared to what you may see in other videos or sources due to the nature of my testing and how I'm conducting these tests back to back, which definitely creates stress and throttling. Anyways, after 12 minutes, here we can see the iPhone with the iOS 15.4 update performing exceptionally better in the majority of GPU tests while matching similar results for those tests that are capped at 60 FPS. Now if we look at one test in particular that is commonly used amongst many tech reviewers, the 1080p Manhattan 3.1 off-screen test, here we can see the iPhone with the iOS 15.3.1 update averaging 123 FPS while for the iOS 15.4 update, the device averages 140 FPS, which is quite impressive. Now again, these scores don't represent peak performance, but rather sustained performance due to the back-to-back -back testing in this video. Now for reference, I did average 182 FPS for this particular test at peak performance when I let the device properly cool down. Nevertheless, for this last test, I'll conduct a 4K HDR video compression test to see if there's any performance increases in rendering video. Now as you can see, and to my surprise, both updates finished this 2K 4K HDR video compression test at exactly the same time, roughly 55 seconds. Therefore, in conclusion, for rendering, video work, and CPU, I'm not seeing much of a difference. However, as we saw earlier, particularly for sustained performance, I am seeing a nice increase in GPU performance, which translates very well to things like mobile gaming. With that being said, thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned for more tests like this. 
Please stay safe and see you all next time.